Welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Remember CD sent us a telegram so she meet us at the bar in Valentine? I think we're gonna do that. First though, I kinda change my outfit. Yeah, change the cowboy outfit. Sorry John, but for what we're gonna do, we're gonna need a better outfit than that. Also, John's beard is like super long. Morning. Nope, I just tripped that guy. <laughs> I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, Bubba. who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? Oh! What is that? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you, <laughs> get out of here. On Marston. It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Just Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. <laughs> I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> She was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy us a property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. <laughs> oh, it's legal. I'm usually. Then... Maybe. Come on then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Oh, John hey, strawberry. New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on, we got a bit of a ride. I know. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Yeah, we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I got uncle with me. Yeah, be uncle. Okay. Uncle? We're getting a scout by that gang out there might be preferable than living with him. Sometimes I think the same. Strawberry. name is Nathan Kirk, banker, bald, 45. Okay. You head up that way. I'll meet you in a bit. You know, good thing about playing this game a lot, I already know where he is. I think John has a sixth sense about this stuff, you know? Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. <gasps> Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! I'm not saying he knows it. Got us. him? Oh, shut up! <laughs> Come on, jump on! We gotta get after him! Remember, we want him alive, though. I know! He went right! I ain't gonna stop Get it, dude. There, right? Stay on it. I'll catch up with you. Where are you going? Shit. This is gonna hurt. You carry on. You'll be okay. Leave me alone. 
Really, horse? You're doing well. Why'd you just- Oh my god, dude. Why did it just stop? Oh my god. Let's ride. Stop it. You don't got any objections. What's in here? Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife. Hey. What now? Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Send it on my behalf to West Elizabeth Cooperative Bank in Blackwater. Pay down my loans. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. Sure. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. Nice. Oh, now I gotta go all the way back to uh, Peach's Hope because we got a mission for Uncle, baby. Sad all. Hello, Uncle. What do you got for us? I bet he's sleeping, actually. No, an Uncle. Yep. Working hard. <coughs> it's the lumbago. <laughs> lumbago. If I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. You can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> Get up! <Ow! laughs> I love Uncle Scream. I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I went into town. Uh, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Uh, oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to Saint Denis. What? Charles. Charles! Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles! Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Let's go, baby. Charles, Charles, Charles the Chad himself. Come on, let's get off. All right. Yeah. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I hate this place. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. <sighs> All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. Sour? <sighs> let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slum. Now, uh, how about I take the saloons and you take the slums? Somehow my horse is here. Excuse you. All right, let's go get Charles. Go. <laughs> what took you so long? Oh, good lord! I was just beginning <laughs> to enjoy some peace and quiet. Yeah. <laughs> Asked that first barman I met, and he told Folks me Charles was here. Surprise! <laughs> but they Not one of life's great mysteries. And you are a killer. <laughs> We both know what you got him. Do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? <laughs> you're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe yeah, he maybe. was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I... I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So? So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I was wearing his hair down like I that. I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive too, only... She left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? Myself. On myself. To win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. 
What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Of course. Real redskin brave. Bet on Charles. Ladies sure, I'm a gentlemen, fan of the wolf. Round, Give me a bet on him. Round, have I got a treat for you? An epic battle between the, the descendants money. of ancient warriors and a not so noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an engine Hercules. In, in Hercules the savage, wow. the untamable. The unbeaten and dare I say unbeatable lone wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Come Let's on, keep Charles. Clean, but not so clean. Knock him out. You try to stay on your feet, you hear? Lower! Lower! Oh! 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 Hit him, Lone Wolf! This is raved or something! Hit him, Charles! Wolf! Kill that bastard! Pretend he's Micah! <laughs> Honestly, bro. Knock him out! Hit him, Charles! Let's go, Charles! Get our money. Come on, Lone Wolf. Gotta get you the hell out of here. Hey, Lone Wolf. Whoa. How? Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. It's your share, partner. Thank you. If we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now. My sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Uh, just have a few urns to run. Urns? You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. <laughs> deep thinker. I, I think he's a deep thinker. Forty bucks. Not bad. This way. Uh my bag's on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean back then? Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. True. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. Oh, I, took you I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good I man. I bet, John, I bet. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Yeah. Rattle him, or give him some kind of understanding. True. What his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all of you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. Probably I not. Heard all kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. Same. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss. The agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he really? died in custody. Never said a word. Huh. Hey yes, some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened. All those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. If it was Okay. What? Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He uh 
He used to work for Angelo Bronte. Oh, I've been here an hour. Okay. Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. Oh, I can jump. You couldn't have thrown that fight. It's never just one fight. Evidently. Let's go. There's a wagon up there. I'll get my bag. Okay. All right, I like that. Hey okay. I like John. I like John Cattleman. Over the bridge, going out of town, west. Hold on. I'm one of dead alive already. You see any law? Not yet. Keep your eye out. San Andreas ain't short on police. Wait, I that's remember true. that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, the better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No, we can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? <sighs> no. I think we're clear. <sighs> if I John's ever beer, want to go right back. There. Remind me that I hate San Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some well. simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. Hey, Uncle is not simple. Uncle is a genius. <laughs> you boys been off getting up to no good? Kind of. <laughs> been getting shot at. Well, you weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> home. Teach yourself, baby. Shop in wood. Hello, Uncle. Charles. Ah, feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired two dollar whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now, you <laughs> used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're <laughs> hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail. I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? <laughs> it's awful. It's a dumb. The house Uncle's has got to go. Dude. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house so the lady'd set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. Uncle being a good old supervisor. We good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now just pull. <laughs> Poor horses. Trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house, right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? Uh, there's a fellow by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. Uh, but if I don't go with you, who's gonna Just tell you Just need that a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. Well, don't do that. That's not nice. 
<sighs> You're a good filly. All right, let's go to town. Hola. Okay there, partner. Talk to Sadie. Well, I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Well, how's everything going? Hello, Sadie. Oh, John. <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. You, uh, you got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing, or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? All three. In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Well, funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. Huh. How you mean? You ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? No. Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. Huh. I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south, waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah. It's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now, come on. Mount South. Up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. Her Hang in there, didn't, girl. Didn't look too good. Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. Hey, partner! Howdy! How the partner? That new horse? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. Oh, it's all right. It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. Look at old Skinner Brothers. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got good up point. there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, want to talk about it? Well, Maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Yes, we Charles. did. Charles, he's alive. Yeah, he's doing okay. He was prize fighting in Saint Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you could come along, too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there, whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but <laughs> Well, at least she's honest about it. You heard anything it. of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. That's the truth. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out. 
for who he truly was. So much just like Arthur. We were fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Macca, John. Macca's the one who set it off. I blame hey, me Micah. for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But uh, not now. Come on. Everybody hates Micah. For good reason. Micah sucks ass, dude. Do this. There's a spot up ahead where we can see over most of the country. They'll be down there. All right, let me get some good guns. So, James Langton, the bounty hunter. Got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. <laughs> I'm forever the optimist. Believe it, John. It's a view, all right. It is a really good looking view. Come on, let's go take a look down in the valley. I think I see something. Yup. There they are, down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat, that's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? I don't know. Come on. Let's go follow them. Yes, ma'am. Trying to get on it. You're doing well. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. Ha! They'll be coming through here. Huh. <sighs> Kind of weird seeing this place in the story. Mainly because, like, you're not really in it that much. We're in it a lot for Red Dead Redemption Whoa. 1. There they are. They follow and keep an eye on them. Go on, girl. Ah! Who that scream? anyone with me <laughs> my guess is they'll stop up ahead we can get a better look at them you know his thinking pretty well hmm? if you can't outgun them you gotta outthink them it's like Dutch not really the though. canyon opens up down a ways we'll head them off there Chance. 
Yeah, they're stopping. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. Well, oh, thank you. Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them? Start shooting at them or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best so opportunity. So do I. But, uh, it's your call. Actually, it's your call because, uh... Your, I'll follow your, your, your operation. Let's sneak down there. Okay, well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. We're going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths. Two guys below us. Let's get closer. Go around them. You take one of them. I'll take the other. You gotta throw a knife. Nicely done. Okay, let's move. Up ahead. Another one on patrol. He's done. Okay, Sadie. Oh! <laughs> the noise! Wiki <laughs> bridges might be the death of us. Come on. Came up. Let's do this quick. Well, we got spotted somehow. You got to die. You did. You got the hit. No, he's going to shoot out of me. Marked him with dead eye and still missed. There's a really glitchy shadow on Town Line. Oh, she's right down there. How did she get down there? Oh, that's one way of doing it, I guess. Oh, there's a path right there. What do you do? I swear I played this game. Let's get Finley. Get him out of here. I want to go pick him up. 
I tried to. Okay, God, say some weird. Are you with her? What's it look like? Get him up there, Paul. Say that. I swear, I'm gonna take you in for a bottle. How do you take them out, dog? Let me say you watch me. Oh, dude. Okay, I'm on my horse. I can switch to, I can switch back to the lane caster. My caster is way better than the field. I still know. Let's go. Really? Couldn't tell. I, I would definitely want to hit that rock. I need to relieve myself. There'll be a bucket in your cell. <sighs> I'm serious. Mm. Yep, and so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. You heard the lady. Thank you. I still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me, then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm the victim here. Damn you. Well, didn't you John, rustle cattle? Be so kind as to shut him up? Don't listen to her. Let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Bad dog. <laughs> That's it. How did work ain't easy, John? No. But I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there? You didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. No, we did pretty and good, John. Yeah. With Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. <laughs> Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Yeah, don't tell it. Don't tell it. Here Abigail. we are. Grab him and bring him in, John. Sure. You know, bounty hunting is you're legal, so I don't want Abigail to be pissed. Brought in Shane Finley. Her, she probably will. Great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. Right. I thought you said I you. I feel like this is not a good lock. He can definitely well, I reach him. But we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. Here's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> you want this money to go to the bank too? No, I'll uh I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. Alright, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. <laughs> sure. Be retired. well, John. Two hundred dollars. Oh yes, please. All right, let's go talk to this this guy. Uncle was talking about about buying houses from a book. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? Oh, I got a comedian here. I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know, is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. Which house do you want? 
Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there. And you will be the proud owner hmm. of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. Mr. Martin. You boys give me a minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Uh -oh. Lots of them. I left Uncle Arm to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. If this skin is about, we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these skinners gonna be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim oh. Milton. Sir, good to meet you. He, pr he peered us together because we had the two funniest beards in the group. Well, I guess the best smith around is that Norwegian fellow up there. So they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. I feel like we could have, like... We could have brought this to the, the house right. and then go to the tall tree. Or maybe we need to post with spy tall trees. But I'm not a genius, so... Like Charles. What is your master? Hey, partner. Is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash. So it's all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. Yeah. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. <laughs> Not much, I guess. <laughs> yeah, definitely no. No. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No! Wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. Yes, sir. All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. What was that you were saying? People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. Well, good family man here, we got here. I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, <laughs> can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. Oh, that's good. This is the spot. Just up ahead. Okay. Talk to Niels.
Mr. Martin. That's me. Nails. Nails, it's me. It's Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any made? Okay. Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils. Okay. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's okay. get moving. Okay. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, comedian Marston. All right then. Martin. Features hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, haven't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. World needs men like you. Oh, oh, we're gonna try that. Oh no! Everyone find some cover! All this over some wood. Hold on, put your head down. Where'd they come from? We get you out of here. Will you be all right? It's the Skinner. You okay? Watch out for arrows. Stay in bushwhacking. Okay, okay, what? We hit the mother lord. They're on the other side. I didn't think they could tag. All right. You alive? No. Mr. Devin, you okay? Yes. That the last of them? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. They grabbed Mr. Wayne. All right. You stay here. Guard the wagon. Charles, come on. Come on, Mr. Wayne. Over here. This is Devin. They got me. All right, they should have. Stop, Mr. Milton. Mr. Smith. Help. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. You mean? You mean? They threw us in! Let's go! Yeah, you're not kidding me, buddy. the tools. Charles, I found the tools. Now where's Mr. F oh god. Alright. <clears throat> I try to save him. You gotta move fast. Come on. As John runs really slow. God, there's so many Skinner buttons, dude. 
kind of reminds me of the Murphy brood from, uh... John, can we run here, please? Oh my god. <laughs> Well, at least this guy's still alive. All right, let's get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me. Oh my lord, what'd they do to him? Nothing nice. <sighs> Bad business. Come on, we gotta go. Shit. Those goddamn animals. Okay. John, I'm riding with you. Get us back to beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this this kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. Nope. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed. Come on, move. It's different. The, hold the button. Move the joystick. Killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. There was a caravan. A few months back, massacred. Uncle! 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 I was, uh, you useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town. I'm gonna pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. For now. Bad business. Hey, I said well, that too. We'll be safe together. Sure. We'll be safe with Uncle. If you say so. The protectful Uncle watching over us. The all-knowing Uncle. Some might say the all-powerful. And John. I love you. Don't you forget that. Probably should get building this house, shouldn't we? Does plans make any right sense? Here. Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think, just to be safe. I'll do the reading and planning and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, <laughs> it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Are you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. <laughs> oh, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now come on. <laughs> get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. Rains come. They're very annoying. He's right. She get on with this. Charles will say you guys are both right. <laughs> His uncle is. Nah, he's not. Really oh, the best song in the game! This is the best song in the entire game.
pulling a board and I'll cut it. I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter what the weather, we're together. Oh, it's coming together. Beefy John is, dude. The house building songs is so good. looking house and I think that's everything <laughs> John Marston you have a home so do you oh I know <laughs> and you Charles as long as you'll stay with us thank you <laughs> gentlemen to this happy home at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. Huh. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and. While I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. <laughs> Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please. Come back to me. Yours always, John. A few days later.
Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? Oh, Uncle. Before I go talk to Uncle, John, I know I love your beard and all, but Abigail does not want to see you like this. Hello, Uncle. You sleeping? Or are you just... Thinking. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you John believe looks in now? reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin'. So a youngin'. that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming. Farming rocks. Ranching. Planting something. The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so... So cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. <laughs> you think this is 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. <sighs> Uncle the Negotiator. Can't move like oh, I used to. Man, I never was that fast. You're a one-shot kid, though. You're okay. He's got fast draw. In the black water. Let's go. Now this fella probably saw you. Thought here's some corn husk idiot, some country rube doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse. And I'm going to rob him blind. <laughs> hey, do uh, what? I got to respect like him for it. Because if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Uh, I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some <laughs> charm negotiate. <with> <laughs> uh, And that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. This is him. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily? I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. <laughs> this is a barn. Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scar-faced loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Uh, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. Uh, but Jerry, it, it's <laughs> great seeing you again, I hope. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been a sir. Pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we gonna pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish <laughs> I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you. And David Geddes likes now, you. I, I, this, this man, man is very annoying. annoying. Can you just give <laughs> me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey! John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle! Nice <laughs> to see you, and you too! Oh, shut up, you old creep! <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I need desperate. money. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing, and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. Well, with you, it'll be fine, but I, got I plot wouldn't armor, do it on so my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. 
Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Hey, no, Tell son. the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. Good girl. Where are you going, Sadie? Rip it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is round those parts, split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him, holed up waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Sadie. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Del yeah. Lobos? You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some, and some Californios, and some regular Americans too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. <laughs> they're not misfits, they're diverse. Ugh, it's a bad situation you know, the Dutch Vanderland game wasn't only that diverse, killings, man. You name it. Not much law except the Sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild, that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. It isn't somewhere I'd vacation. Hey. But it's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice weren't what I heard about them. No, Got I heard they're this nice. Feller I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, uh, the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Whew. John Marston's got his own house. Hell yeah, dude. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that, this is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. Oh, Cortez! We've come for you! Yeah, I saw you. I have a mini-map, dude. You got oh, it! Just one punch? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. There, girl. Come on, girl. It'll be a long ride. I Rhodes heard. is pretty far. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. <laughs> up here hey mister there oh shit cool down girl 
Bring Cortez round the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Come on! I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch! Two hundred! Three hundred for her head! I don't Sheriff, like that, buddy. Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him stash. hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. My sure. boys. I spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> oh, pause on that, sorry. <sighs> uh oh. Oh, Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. We want our friend back. You have about ten seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One! Don't be a dumb bastard! Two! This is a good town now! Three! Let him have it, boys! That's kinda cool, I kinda piece this goes like... Come on. It's like an opposite, um, way of what happened, um... Well, us and Rosa first time. Make them the first time. They shoot into the sheriff's office. How are you? Three shots, dude. Oh my god. That's why I don't use the cow one. But this is John's cow and I like using it. Oh, I don't think we're keeping the EX. What was it? Come on! The jail! The jail! They blew my jail apart! He's gone! He's gone! Uh, well, we brought him in. Now, pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would <laughs> we bother threatening you? Get him back and Ooh, I'll get your him. money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Come on. I think she likes calling me Jim Milton. Where are we gonna find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dupe. Very cool. Did say that. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. <laughs> he got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. <sighs> One of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, yes we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring Rhodes into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. Hell yeah. We got plot armor, John. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself 
to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one, but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No. Well, yeah, we're both. Usually, John has a price on his head. Who deserved what? Second guess every poster? I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Hold up. Down there. A fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Keep going, girl. You're okay. Yeah. Up here. Come on. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at them before we do anything. Whoa. Oh, I, need to, I need to get some gun oil. Look at my guns. Let's go up. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through. So maybe that's delayed them? Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I wanna die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. <laughs> they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. <laughs> you know, this is a video game, not a show, but I, I get what you mean. She's fast, bro. Hey! Damn it, Sadie. Oh, that's, I almost shot him. No wonder I was like... Really? So, so cool, man. You okay? They're still alive, ain't they? Let's see what we can do about that. Take Take care. Care. Wait, what? John, me. Thank you. There. Bastard. There he is. In the boat. We got to clear that bait. He's rowing out of here. Cortez. Cortez. You ain't getting away from me. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh my god, he's gonna zoom in the guy in the background while he's... I was hoping he had two thousand dollars on him. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. <laughs> well I get that reference. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. To the first Meet game. Meet the horse. Okay, why? Why? I press. That's the button I'm pressing to get on the are, horse, Missy. but for some reason, Johnson, because I'm saving. Oh. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You gotta be shitting me, game. And my horse is gonna fall. Oh my god. So, back to what I was saying. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You're a dead woman. She's quite alive, actually. I'm also quite alive. Get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't point. trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't <laughs> going to find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman. Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you. You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna come for you. I like how the bodies are still here. That's kind of cool. Just where to find me, because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fight, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. Here we are. Come on. Big mistake. Real big mistake. Yeah, I'm sure. I'll see you again. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <sighs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? <sighs> How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Me and the boys will ride him to Sandini right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver them. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. No, no problem. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. You say so. See you around, partner.
back at Beatrice Hope. Oh, look at that barn. Beautiful. You'll be fine, girl. Stay put. 